CUP stands for Creating Unlimited Possibilities. I am a coffee fanatic, um, and uh, both of us live in southwest Baltimore, um, and I would constantly have to leave my own neighborhood to get a quality cup of coffee. Um, and not only that, but get it in an environment where I felt like I could just hang out, bring my friends, have a conversation. Uh, there was nowhere for me to do that. Um, and then on the other side of things, um, I was you know, constantly seeing tons of kids uh, hanging out, nothing to do. Um, at that time, my job was actually to employ people um, in very entry-level positions. Um, and the more I got to know the kids, uh, the more I realized that unfortunately, uh, with their level of skill sets, I would not be able to offer them employment, um, even though I was offering like literally thousands of jobs over my career. Um, and so really, um, it, long story short, I <laughs> just kind of decided to slap the two things that I loved the most together, which was kids and coffee and out popped uh, Cups Coffee House. My name is Holly Shook. I am the founder of Cups Coffee House and uh, Project I Can, our year-long workforce development program. I'm Kanika Walker and I'm the store manager and restaurant co-owner here at Cups Coffee House. So Cups Coffee House is a social enterprise located in Baltimore City. We are a full service coffee house and catering service. We also run a nonprofit called Project I Can, which is a year-long workforce development program for opportunity youth ages 16 to 24. Um, and through that program, they learn incredibly valuable life skills and work skills uh, so that they can go on to be uh, successful in any career that they choose. Um, and one of the most amazing things that I've ever seen happen in a community environment like this is that you have people from every possible walk of life come into this shop. So, you know, and we have a saying here that everyone should feel comfortable, whether you make $5 a day, $500 a day, and no matter how you make it, you should feel comfortable walking into Cups. The importance in partnership to us is there are so many people that are doing positive things in the city. The benefit that we found in partnering is really sharing resources. Uh, one of our strongest partnerships is with the Foundry Church, and they have different volunteer groups come from all over the state. Uh, we just recently had a group from Indianapolis come to help paint our building, to canvas the neighborhood, and things like that. Um, and in turn, they always order catering from us for their events, so that gives our kids hours. Um, so it's just kind of a full break. Um, so you'll notice, you know, here we have uh, police officers drinking coffee uh, at the same time. You might also have somebody who's had um, an interaction that may have been negative or positive with the police um, and yet you have them coming together and all of a sudden the kid on the other side of the counter that may have had that altercation with the police officer is now having to prepare coffee for him and that police officer who had that altercation with the kid who's coming to Kanika and I are going do you know who you just employed and we're like yes <laughs> yes we do we hired a youth who needs an opportunity and you start to see this very interesting mind shift start to happen and th there's a, a change in the way that people are perceiving one another and interacting with one another that doesn't happen in a forced environment and so this is a place where things just kind of happen and it happens over coffee it happens over the register uh, I would say I think it's in our name you know we are uh, creating unlimited possibilities and I think that's exactly what Baltimore has is just unlimited untapped possibility um, and that would that would be that would sum it up for me in Baltimore. My hope for Baltimore is that they listen. Um, our kids are hurt. They are sad. They are angry. And that's not what they want for themselves. They actually want quite the opposite. So I think that if people just take the time to really listen to them and talk to them and ask them what they want versus saying, here's this program that will give you the certificate where you can get this job. Like, is that something that they want? When you ask them that, it changes the way that they think. It opens up their mind. When we give them the responsibility, like, okay, well today, you make the daily assignment sheet. You're in charge of what's happening here. They're like, me? You want me to do that? Just that trust that is given to them to make these choices. Like, you're here every day. You know what we're supposed to do. So now I'm trusting you to, to be the leader. And just them having that trust in them, it changes the way that they approach the outside world, but we're producing <laughs> quality individuals. Like yeah. that cannot be, I can't put a price tag on it. So once you talk to them and listen to them, it changes everything. Today's Therapy Tuesday. Um, we met the therapist um, from TV's place. They called here. They called Cups. 
and I talked to Miss Brenda, and from there we had a meeting, and it's been on since November. Mm -hmm. um, more than 50% of our staff right now have that mental health resource that they can talk to a therapist. And she comes here and says, we don't have an office anymore. Our yeah. office is <laughs> now the therapy, therapy room. <laughs> um, so I think that something as small as that has changed everything. And there are, there are so many resources in Baltimore City, and the, the challenge is that a lot of people are fighting for those same resources, especially the financial resources. And so, um, and then there's this, I think, a very large um, misunderstanding about what it means to be successful in a social enterprise or what kind of results we can expect from these kids. Um, you know, there's this huge push for quantity, quantity, quantity. And we're kind of the we kind of the pushback where we're quality, quality, quality. And so we want to make sure that you know the kids have a uh, that they feel inc incredibly supported. And you know, while a lot of people think that we should be able to push through more numbers, um, you know, there has to be a coming together where we understand that investment is more important than just quick turnaround. Because quick turnaround, you're going to be just as quickly back into into the same old situation. Um, so investment um, is, is yeah. so our workforce development program, Project I Can, is a year long, but we only create six months of curriculum. And we do that because we then want to hear what they want to learn, and then we go out and we find the resources and the teachers and the, and the volunteers to give them the information that they're looking for. So, like, two, was it two years ago, they decided that they wanted to learn about heart disease. I didn't know any 16-year-old who wanted to learn about heart disease. Um, you know, and it would never have occurred to me to create a class about heart disease. Um, and then, you know, not only did they do that, but then they ended up getting us all to go to Zumba. <laughs> so, you know, but it was because we listened and we, you know, and then through listening, we found out that half their parents were experiencing that. And that's actually a concern that they're already thinking about at 16. But who would have, I never would have thought about that. Um, so I think that they all, they all have a voice. It's, are we listening? And we're so busy deciding what that they what they want because we think that we know that we're missing the mark. Um, four of our kids went to the community association meeting and they stood up and they spoke about how important CUPS was to them and they had only been at CUPS for a month. But in that month they knew what they gained already. They knew that they had support. They knew that they had this sense of family. They knew that they had a sense of a safety. And regardless of um, sometimes the pushback that we get, um, or the things that, um, the assumptions that people have made about us, um, that we really truly are here. Be we could go to any community and sell coffee. We're here because we love the kids. We're here because we know that this, kid, this community and so many other communities like it don't have something like this to call theirs. So we really see that, you know, this really is their coffee shop. Um, it's not mine. Um, but if I don't extend that information, how is someone supposed to know? So it's, it's also on me to create a community. So I think you know, the bottom line is that we believe that like, we, we need the community, not just as customers, but we also need, you know, we need, we need customers, we need volunteers, we need people who can become mentors. Um, without the community support, we can simply not run a coffee shop and we cannot run a, a workforce development program. Um, we heavily, heavily rely on our community to support us financially, uh, to support us um, through volunteerism, um, and without that, there's, just, there's no way for us to, to continue. Um, you know, uh, we believe that everybody's an expert in something. If you know how to fill out a resume, you're an expert and you can come and teach our kids how to do um, it. And, and we need people to get involved. Um, those, those relationships aren't gonna get repaired between adults and youth if there's not communication and there's not a way to form those relationships. Um, and in terms of the coffee shop, um, again, we just, you know, we need your patronage. We need you to, to stop by. Uh, they're never going to become great baristas without customers. I and mean, Kenny and I can only handle so much caffeine yeah. in a day. I never thought that'd be possible, but it's true. Um, and we can only try so many sandwiches. Um, so we need that continual um, customer support. Um, and, you know, don't be afraid to support local business. Um, there's a lot of great chains out there. There are. Um, but, um, you know, the, the shops that are committed to making change in the community, those they need your support. Um, and, and we really go so They can follow us on Facebook, just at Cups Coffee House, and it's the same on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, stopping by, we're always hanging around, so that's definitely 
in person is definitely probably one of the best ways. Because cups is not something that you can hear about. You got to feel it.